The shotguns might have been secretly buffed in zombies. And what I mean by buffed is that they actually might be working properly now. So if you've been playing this game for a bit, you know that the Lockwood 680 has kind of been the meta and really the only good shotgun to use. And that is mainly because its slug attachment actually worked. For whatever reason, for our Haymaker here and our Riveter, the slug attachment never really worked on these weapons, which is mainly where these shotguns get a lot of their power in zombies. Because once you pack a punch, a shotgun that has slug rounds, it not only keeps the extra damage that the slug rounds gives you and the range, but it goes back to just shooting like it would with normal rounds in it. But I've been having people in my Discord tell me, and I've been seeing posts all over the zombie subreddit saying that the Haymaker actually might be decent now. And along with that, the Riveter might be working as well. So we're gonna go through and test it out today. I already started out this Outlast contract just to get a baseline of where all the damage is. These are only tier one zombies and I haven't pack a punch these yet, but it does seem to be one-shotting most of them, depending on where I'm hitting them at. Oh, please don't go down here. And I've mainly been using the Haymaker. What about our Riveter? And there's our contract. And there's our self-revive. It wouldn't be a video by me if I didn't fumble a self-revive within the first few minutes. But the Riveter still kind of seems a bit weak. But maybe that's because its fire rate is insane. And it has got a 30-round mag. And our Haymaker's only got a 20. But if these do end up working and you want to copy my build, here it is. But now that we've kind of seen what they can do, let's go ahead and throw these Aether tools on it. And go ahead and pack a punch our shotguns. So you can add actually see if they're worth using now all right let's see how these are doing against tier two zombies now oh it looks like it's one shotting even from back here what about all the way down there oh yeah it's almost working like there's insta kill that ain't bad let's go try a tier two outlast and see if we can handle that let's start this bad boy up and see what we can do now let's give our riveter a little try here it is only pack two doesn't look like it's one shotting the zombies really but it is putting out some decent damage Still not fully impressed with it, but I guess we'll see when we get it to pack a punch three. But what about our haymaker against this mangler? Oh, he's gone immediately. So far, the, the Haymaker's been really good. The, the jury's still out on our Riveter. And I say that these have been secretly buffed because there's been no official mention of like anything changing for these weapons. It wasn't in the patch notes. They haven't put out any tweet about it. The, the COD update account didn't put out anything saying that we fixed the issue with slug rounds in these guns. It just seems like they went through and did it and then just... They didn't mention it to anybody, but we made it through that outlast in no time at all with little to no issue. Let's try taking out a bounty. Give me something tough like a disciple. I want to really put these to the test and a mangler. You know what? That's fine. We'll see if we can make it through his armor. Let's give the riveter first shots at it. See where we're at damage wise with this. Oh, that is not very good. Let's see what happens after we break its armor. If we can even break its armor. There we go. Let's reload. How much are we doing to his flesh? Not a crazy amount. But the Haymaker... Got him taken out easy. Let's do another bounty so we can get enough money to get Pack-A-Punch 3 on our Riveter and take these bad boys into tier three and see what they're doing there. Because if these things are viable in tier three, that could be a game changer. All right, Mimic. Night-night. See you later, pal. Thanks for trying. All right, give me that Pack 3. And what is this doing against tier three zombies? Ooh, the Riveter, I still think it might be ass. I don't think it's beaten the mid allegations. It could be a bit better, but I don't think any shotgun that has 60 rounds in it while Pack-A-Punch, they're going to want to make super good. But the Haymaker, on the other hand, with 40 rounds in the mag, is two shot in zombies. These are armored tier three zombies. The unarmored ones, it'll take out with a headshot. Haymaker might have just had a glow up. Let's go see if we can take out a mega abomination with it. There's the guy I'm looking for. What's up, dude? Shoot that laser. And that head's already gone. Let's go. Didn't do like an insane amount of damage though. I broke his face pretty fast. So that's something. And it's nice that we have that slug around range. So we don't have to be right in front of him to shoot him. Oh, here comes another laser. Let's try to take out the middle here. Oh, we got it. Barely. Almost went down for it. How much health is he at? Less than half. Oh, now he's yelling. This is our perfect opportunity to get some easy damage on him. There we go. We got a little bit on her. Why the hell did I say it like that? It sounded like I was from Wisconsin. But almost got him killed. He's very close. Disciple just had to ruin it. How many self-revives do I have? None. So let's just go ahead and end this. Take the Disciple out of here. So it can stop bothering me. And let's take this Mega Abomination out because I see another player coming. I don't want them to interfere. Oh, no. No. 
Almost. Got him. Sweet. That wasn't bad at all. This shotgun might get comeback player of the year. Even that would win over Damar Hamlin. I still can't believe Joe Flacco won it over somebody that literally died and came back to life and played football with all in the same year. Well, that's neither here nor there. Let's try a tier three bounty with it. I still don't have a self-revive, but I'm feeling weirdly confident using this weapon. I just gotta be really careful about when I decide to try to tank the Abomination's laser. And we gotta hope that there's not two of them over here. All right, come here. I just wanna talk. Why don't you just go ahead and shoot that laser so we can get that head blown up right away. There you go. Thanks for listening. Did we get it blown up? There we go. He just stopped shooting it. I might have just gotten out of his range. Oh, here comes another one. Perfect. Oh, now we have to reload. I think we had that Aether Shroud, but we got a decent amount of his health already gone. And now he's charging us. Stop it. Knock it off. Just open your mouth. Let me see them pearly whites. Oh, no. Pillar, you got to protect me. <sighs> Pillar saved my life. We got him to like half health already. We've only blown up one face. Okay, we cannot let this, these mimics become a problem. They need to be gone before they take me out. I think we got the abomination to glitch out. He's not moving over there. Oh, now he is. Spoke too soon. The game heard me. Okay, both mimics have been taken care of. We got an insta-kill. Shit. I shouldn't have picked that up, actually. I want to start working towards my Aether Shroud, and I don't want this to affect the damage we do against this abomination. So you're just going to have to wait a nice 20 seconds, sir. You get three more seconds of living. Better enjoy it while it lasts. There we go. You can bob and weave through this laser just to get extra damage on both faces. Come on. I know you want to break. I know it's close to breaking. Yeah, come on in here. I'll loop all the way through this as many times as you want, pal. There we go. Middle face is gone. Oh, did he get out of range? Look how he's running. Is he stuck? Did he, re did he regain health? Maybe a, a little bit, but he's still pretty low. That's not too bad. And this could be the last laser. He stopped short. This tree's really giving him the business. He can't even move through it. We're almost there. Come on. A few more shots should do it. Perfect. Making it easier for me. See you later. Yeah, I think the haymaker is officially decent. It's made a resurgence. No rebirth. Oh, and there's another one right away. I guess to be fair to the Riveter... We can give it a chance against this Mega Abomination, but you guys just saw what it did to a Hellhound. Almost nothing. It was hit markering a Hellhound. Pack three epic rarity. This Riveter's cooked. But I'll give it one little chance against the Mega Bomb. And I do also want to point out that we didn't even run out of ammo using the Haymaker against this Mega Abomination. With a lot of weapons we use to fight it, we always have to leave and go replenish ammo somewhere. Oh, and I don't know how much longer I want to use this with no more self-revive. Oh, no. Okay, we gotta run. Run. Oh. No! The Mimic almost sniped me. And speaking of running for ammo, we just gotta go do it. We need to grab some decoys. That way we can use them to safely buy a self-revive. Damn, Mimic. Mimic's way too accurate today. Oh, and somebody activated this deadbolt turret. You know what? That's my saving grace. I'll take it. Let's go get some self-revives and then go test out our haymaker against the Stormcaller if it's still here. You still here, Stormcaller? I got somebody I want to introduce you to. This new and improved haymaker. We already stopped them from healing. Let's hit our Aether Shroud. We're doing decent damage to him. Broke his mask. Ooh. Zombie, stay back. It's actually doing pretty good damage to the zombies that are in the storm. And the zombies are doing pretty good damage to me. I should probably pay attention to my health a little bit more. Let's hate the shroud again. This ain't bad so far. It's not like Tomfa levels of damage, but it's pretty good compared to what it used to be. We already got him to half health and we just got in here. It's our first day out here. I wonder if we do more damage up close. I think we might be. Get back here. You can't run from this. I think this might be doing more damage than our Ram 9 did. And the Ram 9 is like probably the best weapon they added into Season 2 so far. And this should be the end of them right here. Just don't fly away from me. There we go. Damn. Who would have thought? I even have to go refill my gas mask. I am very close to running out of ammo though. So we got it just in time. Let's see if we can find anything good in this stronghold. We can easily clear this out. This is one of those weapons that you need no thought to use. Just brain empty. Shoot what's in front of you. I wonder why they decided to fix the Haymaker and not the Riveter. 
they also not like the Riveter? Or is it like a balance thing because there's so much ammo with it? Or maybe they accidentally buffed it. I feel like that's the, the most likely thing here. It seems like all they've been doing recently is nerfing weapons and zombies. And turns out there's not shit in here in terms of loot. Well, we got a few minutes left and since this thing's doing so well, let's try to knock out a few contracts here. See if we can't get some decent loot. Oh, we got another mega bomb over here. That's the contract I'm trying to do. You want to die? Just like all your siblings? Fine by me. I'm gonna get this weapon stash contract done. Let's start it up. Please don't kill me while I'm putting the drill on. Stop it. Ate the shroud. Oof. Oh no! Why does this happen? Um, should I close out? Should I close out of the game while I save all my stuff? Because either way, no matter what, if I stop lagging right here, I'm still going down. Oh, close it. It went to a black screen, so I alt F forward. I might have buffed the shotgun, but the server's definitely got nerfed. Oh, we kept all of our stuff. Perfect. I'm glad I closed it when I did. And I'm glad I actually didn't waste the stuff on a Riveter. So it does look like they actually secretly buffed the shotguns, or I should just say the shotgun. The Haymaker is the only one that really looks like it's worth using now. Well, I mean, besides Lockwood 680. The Riveter still seems like it's garbage, though. Maybe a different ammo type might be better for it. But I'm not about to go into a game with the Riveter again and waste some supplies on it. We got lucky once getting them back. But I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support. And I will see you in the next one. Later.